There's another T3, TD340. It's actually the first TD I've had. I've had a T340, which is a gas engine. This is a diesel, so it's a TD340. How do you like that cage? It's cool. So I just got it home, and Fan said he bought a piece of property, and this was just on it when he got it. So he was selling it. Didn't give too much for it. It's got a winch on it, six way blade on it, good tracks. Sprockets are a little bit worn. Um, but I throwed a battery on it and it rolled over just a little. So that's good. I'm gonna see what I can do, see if we can get it to fire off. I'm gonna put a battery charger on it and get a few tools and I'll get back to you. All right, I got the battery charger going. Getting a little charge, and I came up, try to figure out the switch. It looks like there's been some wires removed, <clears throat> but I had one, one wire going to the push button, and the other side had been cut, so I think there might have been a key switch here, and it came to that push button. Somebody cut it loose, so I just did the easy thing. Unless I cut the wire. Let me see if I can get on it. And I'll just jump straight to the starter. All right. So it's rolling over. Just got to get that battery charged a little better. And it's out of fuel. But when I first spun it, it had a tiny little bit of smoke came out. So, that's, I guess that's a good sign, it's out of fuel, but it may have still had some left in the injectors. But I'm going to get some fuel, probably get some starting fluid, and I'm going to come back and see what it'll do. Alright, I'll get back to you. <clears throat> Put a couple of gallons of diesel fuel in it. Yeah, I need to see. Get me over here. Right, here's where it comes in. There we go. There we go. That looks rusty. Get some of that come out and get some of that fresh fuel down here. Well, I don't know, that could be off-road fuel. Oh, some new light now, that's rest. Look at that. Oh, there you go, fully. Um, that's going on my trailer. Awful red. Rusty, I mean. Rusty looking. It's not a good flow. Oh. We probably won't use that much to run, so it might be okay. We got fuel. At the pump. <clears throat> See if I can crack a couple of injectors. That one was loose. Well, I might have been trying to get it started. I bet that one's loose too. I guess it's black. Loose. Somebody was trying to get this thing started. Not too long ago.
loose a little more. So, all goes according to plan. Go down there and hit it. You'll see some fuel there. Come on, fuel. We're hoping for fuel. Yeah. Find my starter wire. Three, two, one, contact. <laughs> Smells like it though. Well, all right. I had to fix me a starter where I could see things from over here. Turned it over some. <clears throat> I'm not getting any fuel out up there, so I broke this one. This one loose. I'm gonna see if I've got any fuel coming out there. It's wet, but it's not coming out like it should be. It should be coming out. I think every time it rolls over, it should be a, a little puff of it. Loosen them up pretty good and see if it changes, but I got a feeling it's going to need to be cleaned. As gummed up as the fuel was, is in it, I would imagine so. <laughs> thinking I hear a knock in that engine when it rolls over. I hope not.
still hadn't got the dozer off the trailer and I'm about to show you why I missed a little bit of recording but a fuel pump it's not working that's why it's not working I got it apart <laughs> probably never get it back together but you got it clean and it was everything was stuck in it I'm gonna work on keeping on cleaning uh, I've got some seals I got to get for it put it back together and maybe with any luck we'll get it going and I'll get back to you after we get it back together <laughs> 